we have to solve differential equations with operational amplifier for this we take first a differential equation that is d2v d2 dt2 plus pdv dt plus qv is equal to v1 here v1 is a function of time we can write this equation as d2v dt2 is equal to v1 minus qv minus p dv dt we have to make this equation in op amp circuit so this is the first input and you can see the input is d2 v d2 2 and here we have to get v and dv dt for this we have to integrate d2 v dt2 so we need a integrator op amp so we make a integrator op amp that is minus plus this is the ground and here is the capacitor and this is the integrator op amp now this will integrate d2 v dt2 and it will be dv dt and this will be minus because this is at inverting terminal and this resistance r thus we get minus dv dt now we have to get v for this we have to integrate it another time so we need another integrator op amp and it will integrate dv dt and it will give only v and minus will be plus there because it's inverting now we get v now we can see we have to we can write this equation as minus q v minus of p dv dt minus v1 we can write this equation like this now this is the addition of QV and PDVT to minus V1 and this term is the addition of PDVT and V1. So for this we need an adder op amp. So we need an op amp to add DVDT and V1. So there is an op, op amp adder. It will go to the inverting terminal. this is the adder op amp and this is r would be there sir and there will be this another port for this addition and this will be for v1 we have to add v1 and dv dt so it is v1 now this resistance r1 take this resistance r2 and this r3 and you can see the output what will be the output here the output will be for minus dv dt it will be plus dv dt and for v1 it will be minus v1 but you can see we have to take p dv dt and so p will be multiplied with dv dt for this we have to give the ratio of resistance of r3 and r1 that is r3 by r1 should be p so there will be a p multiplied to with dv dt output thus we get this p dv dt minus v1 this now this is the output now r2 is here r3 because nothing has multiplied with v1 so r2 is equal to r3 now so that the original output is this is added with qv so we have to add this two term for this we need another adder so we need an adder to add qv and pdvdt minus v1 minus plus this is the ground 
and this is the output and this is the resistance of the op amp now there would be two port at the input so this is this because we have to add two terms this is the inputs and the resistance for this is r4 r5 and r6 now we can get the output for plus v the output will be minus v and you can see here q is multiplied with v so for this q we have to give the ratio of the resistance of r6 and r4 that is equal to q for this we get the output as minus qv that we needed and for this input we get the output with the negative sign because it's to the inverting port so it will be minus of p dvdt minus v1 thus we get the ultimate output at this point now you can see this is same with t2 v dt2 this equation because this is same with d2 v dt2 so we can write this output as d2 v dt2 now we have to connect this is also d2 v dt2 this is also so we have to connect this two port that will be like this thus we get the integrated circuit there now here the resistance r5 is equal to r6 because nothing is multiplied to it p dvd to minus v1 and this is a integrator op amp this is also an integrator op amp this is the adder which add this port and this port and this is also an adder thus this circuit cancel differential equations